Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So with the recent start of the rollout of Windows 11 24H2 on the 1st of October, one or two components and features have been moved around in the OS, as you may well know. And just to kind of highlight a, another undocumented change that Microsoft has made um, in the 24H2 update, where the speaker left-right balance sliders in the sound section of the system audio settings has been moved to another location. And this was actually spotted and pointed out to me in the comments by viewers of this channel, which I'm always grateful for. So just a quick video, uh, just to keep us all on the same page regarding 24H2. And this could be useful, especially if you are using those left and right balance sliders, if you are processing or listening to a lot of audio with your Windows and in your Windows OS. Now, just a quick recap, if we head over to a screenshot of a previous version of Windows 11, here we can see on the System Sound Properties page, we get our format volume, and right under volume, we get the left channel and the right channel sliders to obviously balance out your audio. So this is what I'm referring to, and this is what has been moved to a new location. It's a small little tweak, but nonetheless, thought I'd just put it out there because I have seen a couple of comments in regards to this. So after upgrading to Windows 11 24H2, if we head to our settings and we head over to our system sound page, which by the way, if you want a quicker way to get to this page, you can just right click on the speaker icon in the system tray and click on sound settings. And if we head to our output source, currently mine is headphones. Yeah, we still get the system sound properties page, which is exactly the page I showed you in a earlier version and previous version of Windows 11, system sound properties. And now you'll see that we have our format volume, but there are no sound sliders. There's no left and right balance options and sliders available. So this is where a little bit of confusion has come in. And all you have to do is if you don't know where it is, if you don't know where it is, it's hidden here behind the drop down menu. And yeah, you can see left and right channel. So Microsoft has just has just buried it a little bit deeper in the output volume for whatever source of output you are using in the OS. Just wanted to bring that to your attention. This is where you can adjust that left and right channel with the sliders, where previously it was part and parcel of the system sound properties page. A small little adjustment, undocumented, but I thought I'd just post very quickly because it has been highlighted in the comments. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.